Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science channel. Before we start our solution step by step, I'd like to subscribe on the channel, like this video and share the link of this video with your classmates. Now, we're going to start our exercise and solution step by step for our equilibrium of a particle. If the bucket weighs 50 pounds, determine the tension developed in each of the wires. So first, I'm going to start with the free body diagram at ring E. So here, I have my tension D E. Here, we have a 30 degree angle as the image shows us. Here, I have my tension B E and with the triangle 3, 4 and 5 and here I have the weight of the bucket. First of all, we have our free body diagram and now I'm going to find my components. So the components of the tension D E is the tension D E times cosine of 30 and pointing up I have my tension D E times sine of 30. For our tension B E I have in the x axis tension B E times 3 over 5 and pointing up I have my tension B E times 4 over 5. Now I have all my components I'm gonna uh, do our equilibrium equations now. So I have the sum of the forces in x equals 0. So here I have my tension d e times cosine of 30 minus tension b e times 3 over 5 is equal 0 because I met the equilibrium. So I know that my tension d e times cosine of 30 is equal my tension b e times 3 over 5. So my tension b e is equal 5 tension d e times cosine of 30 degrees over 3. Now I'm going to do the sum of the forces in y direction is equal 0. So here I have my tension d e times sine of 30 plus my tension b e times 4 over 5 minus the weight of the bucket is equal 0. So I have my tension d e times sine of 30 degrees plus my tension b e now is 5 tension d e times cosine of 30 over 3 times 4 over 5 is equal the weight of the bucket. So I can do my math and say that my tension d e is equal the weight of the bucket over sine of 30 plus tension d sorry sine of 30 plus 3 cosine of 30 degrees over 4. I know that our weight is 50 pounds so I can put in my calculator and then I'm gonna have the tension d e is equal 30.2 pounds. Using our tension d e up here I have that my tension b e is 
3.6 pounds because after we solve our problem we have the tension d e is equal 30.2 pounds now we have two other wires so here i'm gonna do our second free body diagram but now at b i have ring b my force tension b e that i already know my value here i have my tension b c and here i have my tension a b again here i have 30 degrees and our famous triangle four three and five so finding my components tension b e times four over five and my tension b e times three over five similar way we have our tension bc times cosine of 30 and my tension bc times sine of 30 degrees now using our equations of equilibrium i have the sum of the forces in y direction is equal zero here i have my tension bc times sine of 30 minus tension b e times 4 over 5 is equal 0 so i have my tension b c is equal tension b e times 4 over 5 divided by sine of 30 so here using from our previous slide that tension BE is equal 43.6 my tension BC is equal 69.8 pounds now we can do our sum of forces in X direction is equal 0 so here I have tension bc times cosine of 30 plus tension b e times 3 over 5 minus tension a b is equal 0 my tension a b is equal i know that my tension bc is 69.8 cosine of 30 plus my tension b is 43.6 times 3 over 5 so my tension a b is equal 86.6 pounds so doing our steps that guide us until our, our answers so i have my tension e d is equal 30.2 pounds that was the first tension we found after that we found the tension b e that's equal 43.6 pounds then we found tension b c that's equal 69.8 pounds and in the end we found the tension a b is equal 86.6 pounds thanks for watching until the end i'd like to like as to like this video if you didn't do thank you so much see you in the next video